Hey friends, it's Jessie and Bonnie. I moved all my filming equipment home, so she will be in probably all of my videos. She is my like eternal lapdog. Anyway, today I am filming a fun video on my most complimented fragrances of 2023. There were several more that I could have put in this list, um, but I really just wanted to keep it to like, I've gotten a lot of compliments because I've gotten a lot of new fragrances since Christmas. And so, but I was like, mm -mm, I have to keep it to 2023. I have to like, it has to be for the year. So anyway, these are some stellar fragrances and I can't wait to show them with you. There's actually a couple of really unique ones in there. And so I love getting complimented on unique fragrances that don't smell like everyone else. Obviously, I'm going to get compliments when I wear Baccarat Rouge 540. Obviously, I'm going to get compliments when I wear Delina Exclusive and Santal 33. Those three get everybody compliments. They just smell great. And Santal 33 is so unique if you're not in the fragrance world that everybody just ask about it. But these are, let's see, I've got six here that were my most complimented fragrances of last year. So I'm going to start with one of my faves. It's New York Nights by Bond Number no. 9. If you know, you know, this is like a caramel gourmand bomb. I get so many compliments on this. I mostly just wear it at night and I don't know why, uh, but I wear it on like date nights, wear it to, you know, just events, things that I'm going to at night. And I get lots of compliments on New York Nights by Bond Number no. 9. If you are interested in fragrance related content, be sure to subscribe click that notification bell give me a thumbs up if you're like into like these videos that are like t most complimented fragrances of 2023 like give me a thumbs up if that's something that you're like kind of watching out for when you're scrolling through thumbnails uh, but bond number nine New York Nights so good this is my second bottle I had the smaller bottle first went for the big bottle or on my second go around so all right next up is one that I got chased down <laughs> and texted about after the fact about what I was wearing. Somebody was like, I need to know what you're wearing. And then later on, somebody was like, I also need to know what you're wearing. I was wearing Straight to Heaven by Killian. This fragrance is amazing. I recently uploaded a video where I compared Straight to Heaven and Intoxicated by Killian because I love both fragrances, but they are quite different. Um, Straight to Heaven is kind of a freshy, but it's like a spicy freshy. Oh, it's so good. If you're a man, just buy this fragrance and wear it out. If you're a woman, I would say if you're into spicy fragrances, this is probably a safe blind buy too. Straight to Heaven by Killian. Oh, gorgeous. Next up, I'm still trying to figure out my setup here for my office. Um, next up is Starlight by Zershoff. I got this in the summertime and wore quite a bit of it in the fall. I'm still wearing quite a bit of it, but I'm also testing out new fragrances now. So I'm not wearing it as much as I was, but I've already put a pretty good dent in this. Um, this is Starlight by Zershoff and it's beautiful. It's, I've done a full fragrance review on this. Um, if you've never smelled this fragrance, you really need to get your nose on it. Starlight by Zershoff amazing okay my floral fragrance that i would get compliments on every time i wore it if you're into florals buy this fragrance it is my way by giorgio armani this is the intense version i am loving this i i have the floral version i have the original uh this one the intense version for me just gets more compliments and i don't know if it's because it's more bold like the performance the projection is bigger uh but my way intense by armani is a great fragrance that i love and always get compliments on whenever i wear it okay next up is a fragrance that i picked up later in the in the year and every time i wore it i got a i got a compliment on it this is and i've already used a fourth of my bottle this is kaoli oudgasm this is a vanilla oud 36 so good like if you like vanillas just blind by this fragrance it's so, so good. I didn't get any of the other um, from this new Oud line that she launched, but I thought, hey, I'll just try the vanilla one. It's so good. I can't wait to show y'all. I'm about to film another video on my most worn fragrances for 2023. I also have a Kaoli in that video, not this one though, even though I put a big dent in this. Um, but Vanilla Oud by Kaoli, it's one of their newer releases. It's beautiful. It's like vanilla and it is very sweet. Um, I mean, it's not it's pretty sweet. We'll leave it at that. It's pretty sweet. Um, but if you like vanilla, this is one that you need to get your nose on for sure. And lastly, a very unique fragrance that I get a lot of compliments on and have ever since I got it is Santal Basmati. Now I will say I go in heavy handed with this because it is a little bit lighter and the performance isn't like beast mode or anything, but I will go in heavy handed and I get a compliment almost every time I wear this. This is by Affinescence Paris. 
and it's Santal Basmati. They also come in a larger box bottle. Whenever I get finished with this bottle, I will probably buy a larger bottle because it's one of my favorite warm, cozy fragrances. I also love to wear this one at night, like before I get in bed, and it's, it's just beautiful. So anyway, those are my most complimented fragrances of 2023. Drop me a comment below and let me know your most complimented fragrances. I always love engaging with you guys in the comment section. Don't forget to subscribe, click the notification bell. Smell you later.